go concrete. That's a different <laughs> start. I mean, it's fine, but I just it's different. It's different. So it's random concrete shark week, and today our random shark is <laughs> the hammerhead. Ding! Um, so we've got Q and A's going on. Yeah, we've got a lot of folks asking us a lot of great questions. Go concrete, boo asphalt. Awesome. <laughs> I do have a background in construction, and this is very interesting, but it went way over my head. Is there any chance we might see a series on the subject? A is this series. the same tech as in Aircrete? So this is when we were talking about using colloidal silica to polish up aerated concrete. Mm. Cellular concrete. And if you don't know what that was, and I apologize for, for over the head there, so let me take a little bit deeper uh, look into what that is. So aerated concrete uh, or cellular concrete is normally a concrete that is made with a foam. And when I say foam, a lot of air. Right. 30% air. Like crazy high. And what we're trying to do is not really use it as a structural concrete, right. but use it as a fill material right. around um, uh, you know, gas lines, electrical lines, sometimes they color it. Uh, just so you know it is, or you could use it in different type of infrastructures, insulation. There, there are many uses for it, but normally it's a cementitious paste or a grout. Right. I've seen it a few times made with a real concrete, and just a very high air content, but ultimately that's what it is. Yeah, it's not a structural. Right. Like it's, the strength is not there. Well, the, the, the strength 500, a few hundred PSI right. normally. So the air creep that you were talking about it seems to be a product name, right? Mm -hmm. So, Aircrete is a product name. Cellular Crete, or what else did I call Cellular it? Cellular Concrete. Cellular Concrete is uh, a product type, or, or it's not just called cellular. Air and Train Concrete sure. is a product type. It's a concrete type. Aircrete is a brand name of a product. So, yeah. Right. What about how it relates to shot crate? Like, what's the difference? Oh, oh, oh. So, air crate is also sprayed too, as I as I understand correctly, right? So, I guess it's used for some insulation, for for oh, some soil sure. fill, sure. or for some facade or facing material. Um, but I mean, you know, when it comes to concrete versus shot crate, you can use the same type of mixes in both applications. And the concept of shot crate is you're shooting concrete right. onto a wall, and it's got to have that rheological property to stay on the wall and not rebound off or down. That being said though, you still need that workability to be able to get it out of there. Totally, totally, you need that gun. And the great thing with air and, chain, air and train concrete, it goes through those pumps and those guns a lot easier than just regular or denser non-air and train right. concrete. So hopefully that answered your question. Um, can we do a mini series on it? Oh wait, I like it. there is one thing that I wanted to differentiate. Yes. That there is a difference between cellular concrete and lightweight concrete. Lightweight Huge concrete. Huge difference. Is, is is a structural concrete still? Right. You can get those high psi's. Yeah. No, yeah. It's just totally. you're putting aggregate in there that makes the concrete lighter. And sometimes you play with air. Sometimes, yeah, yeah but totally. it's not those thirty percent dosages. No. It's no, no, no. more in the range of regular concrete. What you know, zero to. 8% maybe for Reduction. your Reduction? Yeah. No, 0%. 0 to 8% air content in your lightweight. Oh, totally. Sometimes, yeah. Air. Sometimes you're using a defoaming package right. to take out the air. Right. Especially if you want to go for those high strength things. So definitely right. a difference between cellular, aerated, or air and train concrete and a lightweight concrete. And then hopefully, Jack, was that his name, Jack? Jack, yeah. Thanks for the question. Hopefully we answered. If not, um, we will. I like the mini series question. idea. I do like the mini series idea. You can get a, a lightweight shark. To sponsor that, you know. I don't know if there's a lightweight shark. Just get a baby shark. A baby shark? No. I don't Maybe get a jellyfish? A jelly. It's not a shark, though. I know, but it's a sea creature. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding the bell. Let us know if you got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Go concrete! Be as well.